It's been a very long time since I've last made an unboxing video. That's the reason why I thought, hey, why not unbox this package that I received in the mail today? Coming up. Hi and welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in to a slightly different video today. Today I'm not going to teach you anything about underwater videography, but I will actually do a unboxing of a product that was sent to me and that I received in the mail just today. So let's go ahead and look what is inside of this box. paper and something's wrapped really nicely in here taking that off and we've got a underwater video light made by the manufacturer Orca Torch and this is the model D910V the V stands for video because it is a video light with a maximum um, power of 5000 lumen. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. I really like the casing. It's a nice little hard case that the torch comes in. Quite easy to carry around with you like that. Nice. Very nice finish. So inside you can see the underwater video light itself and a couple of accessories will take them out right away so there's your underwater video light we've got a spare ring one of those orange rings that goes on the top here then we've got the charger 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 we got some spare screws and an Allen key, spare O-rings, and we've got a manual and a warranty card. So that's all you get in the package. We'll put that aside and let's have a closer look at the video light itself. So you can open it up. Oh, and here you go. There's a little plastic ring blocking the contact. So that's probably a good idea to take that out before you initially start using your underwater video light. Otherwise, I don't think that will work very well. So we'll take that out. Screw that back on. Oh, wow, here we go. Nice. So, let's see. So, you've got three different levels of brightness, starting off with the brightest and going down to the lowest. Very easy to trigger by just using the push button that is on top of your underwater video light there. The light itself does make a very sturdy and well-built impression. It seems like it's all made from aluminum. And it also looks like the light is quite nice. All right, so let's have a quick look at all the specs. Now what we're looking here at is obviously an LED light made by the company Orca Torch. It is the model D910V and the key features of the light are that it's got a beam angle of 120 degrees, which is fairly wide I would say. We've got a color temperature of 5700 Kelvin which is slightly warmer than most other lights. 
we have a CRI or color rendering index of 92. There is definitely lights that do better in this category, but 92 is not a bad value there at all. What is quite interesting is that it's got a magnetic fast charging system. So the manual says that the light gets charged in about two and a half hours to the full capacity. And it's got a magnetic mechanism for charging where you only just need to hold the charging cable close to the back of the underwater video light and they will snap into position uh, by a magnet and start charging. So that's very convenient. The back of the battery, the battery pack can actually be taken off and unscrewed. And I'm guessing that you can quite easily just get spare ones of these, uh, the battery packs, and you can just exchange them in between dives. So that's quite handy. What else? The underwater video light can be used in three different intensities. Um, as soon as you push the button at the top of the light, it will turn on well, with the brightest one, which is your 5000 lumen, and then it will go to a middle intensity and to the lowest one. And it can actually run up to eight and a half hours on this lowest intensity, um, as the manufacturer says. Pushing that button again, you can turn it off and this works actually quite well and very simple and I'm curious to see how this works with thicker gloves on but I can imagine this working quite well. Orca Torch says that the video light is made from aircraft grade aluminum and uh, is very robust and it actually does make exactly that impression. It seems like it can take quite a beating. Orca Torch itself says that it can be dropped down to the floor from about one meter and it is shock proof. So that's a good thing to know, especially being on dive boats, you know how divers are not on purpose, but things get banked on um, and these things just happen. So having a light that is not so fragile is definitely a good thing to have. This video light is rated to a depth of 150 meters. I doubt that any one of us will take it down that deep, but it's good to know that you've got plenty of leeway when you go even on deeper, maybe technical dives. And something that I've heard for the very first time here um, with the D910V is something called a diamond grade hard anodized seawater corrosion resistance finish. Wow, what a term. Now what it basically means is that it's got a special coating on the outside and that it's very, very, very unlikely that you'll get any kind of rust or corrosion on your torch, on your underwater light. All right, so that's all the specs. And now let me give you my personal opinion on the first impression of the Orca Torch D910V. It looks like it's going to be a really cool underwater video light. It's small and compact, which I personally like a lot. Um, it will have to show how long the battery is actually lasting on, not the lowest, but actually the highest output on 5000 lumen. That's a critical factor for me as well. I really like that you can exchange the battery pack, so you're not depending on having to charge the battery after every single dive, but you can have a few of these uh, battery packs in your bag and then in between dives you can just exchange them. Um, I do like the build of the underwater light. It seems like it's very robust, as I said beforehand, and uh, as it can really take a, quite a bit of a beating. Now, when we talk about the accessories that come with it, it's nothing really thrilling. You've just got your typical stuff with charger and everything. Um, I really like the magnetic charger here. I really do enjoy this one. It's like, for those of you who remember owning an old MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or anything like that with their magnetic charging solution, it reminded me of this and I really enjoy this. Yeah, I think I'll be charging this battery more often than what I have to, just because of that, that click. Nice, nice. 
Other than that, there's nothing really exciting in this box, but I have to say that I do like this box. It's probably not something that I'll be carrying with me on every single dive that I do, but to just store the underwater light um, in here, it's actually not too bad. All right, and that's about it for this quick unboxing of the Orca Torch D910V underwater video light. Obviously, I can't really say much about the functioning of the light and uh, how, how well the light works underwater and all that sort of stuff. For that, I will have to take it for a dive or two, which I will do in the next week or two. I'm planning on going for a dive with a mate of mine um, as soon as we can find some time here in the Lake of Zurich. We've got some other things to test and we'll also test run this little baby here and see how we like the newest one of the Orca Torch family. So if you're curious to see how the Orca Torch D910V performs in water, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're not missing out on the review video that will be coming out here in a few weeks. All right then, I'll go and get this bad boy charged up so I can take it for a test run as soon as possible. I'll see you down there. Yeah, I think I'll be charging this battery more often than what I have to, just because of that, that click. Nice, nice.